What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ockbok here. Now, today, we have another NBA 2K19 rebuild. We will be rebuilding the Dallas Mavericks. This team could have a very good season. They have a lot of talent, and if they were in the East, they'd probably be a playoff team, but since they're not, since they're in the West, they probably won't make the playoffs. They're starting with a big man, DeAndre Jordan, a free agent signee. Signed on a one-year contract. Probably going to look to trade him because we are tanking this year. Harrison Barnes, same thing. Probably going to look to trade him because I'm not trying to win games. Luka Doncic, the number three overall pick. I think Luka is the best player in this year's draft class, and I'm obviously going to keep him for the rebuild. Dennis Smith, I also plan on keeping him for the rest of the video. Dirk Nowitzki is interesting. He has F athleticism, which is sad. And... He would never leave the Mavericks. He is such a team player. He's willing to take pay cuts. He's willing to come off the bench. Dirk is such a team player. And this is a video game, so I can do what I want with him. I know he has a no-trade clause, and the Mavericks would never do this. But I think it makes sense to trade him. Maybe, I'm probably going to trade him to the Warriors or the Raptors, just so he can get a ring. I'm not going to trade him to, like, the Nets or something, just because that's kind of wrong. Uh, Wesley Matthews. He only has one year left on his deal, but might as well get value for him, so I'm going to trade him. Dwight Powell, going to trade him. J.J. Barea, going to get traded. Salah Majiri, going to get traded, and etc., etc. Uh, Jalen Brunson is interesting. Probably going to hang out in the G League. Same with Ray Spaulding. Don't know where Costas Antetokounmpo is, because I know he's on the Mavericks. I don't know if they cut him, maybe. Um, so, pretty much Luka Doncic and Dennis Smith are the only two untouchables. Let's get to the trade. We will be sending Harrison Barnes and J.J. Barea to the Atlanta Hawks for Tyler Dorsey, Alex Len, and our first round pick. It is top five protected, but now obviously it won't be protected since we have it. The Mavericks needed to use this pick to trade up in the NBA draft with the Hawks to draft Luka Doncic, so let's get that pick. We're right there. DeAndre Jordan and Wesley Matthews are headed to the Los Angeles Lakers for Brandon Ingram and Maritz Wagner. I think this is a really good trade for us. We're getting an extremely good young player in Brandon Ingram. And yeah, we have a nice little big three with Ingram, Luka, and Dennis. We're going to be trading Dirk Nowitzki, a 2023 first round pick, and four second round picks to the Boston Celtics for Gershon Yabusele, or as I like to say, Yabuzel, and the Kings first round pick. Uh, I know it's not the Warriors or Raptors, but the Celtics are a good team. And I think they'll have a nice spot for Dirk. We have agreed to a trade with the New York Knicks. I'm a little concerned that I may have traded a little bit too much. Alex Len, Dwight Powell, Tyler Eulis, who I just signed out of free agency, as well as a 2021 first and a 2022 second. For their first round pick, as well as Lance Thomas, Damian Dotson, and Noah Vonley. That 2021 first round pick could have a lot of value down the line. So I honestly might try to get that pick back. I made a couple of off-camera signings and trades, like little moves that really don't matter that much. I signed Rashad Vaughn and Yorgos Papagianis, and I think I used some assets to get this Rockets pick. I traded Gershon Yabuselli to get Andre Roberson. So Roberson, Vaughn, and the Rockets pick are headed to the Knicks for our 2021 pick as well as Mitchell Robinson, who's probably going to be in the G League, and Alex Len. We're going to be getting younger here as Alex Len and Salah Mejuri are headed to the Lakers for two rookies. Savaitis left Mikhailuko Jayhawks and Isaac Bonga. The season was pretty awful as we ended up going 12 and 70. Luka Doncic, however, was not awful, putting up 22.6 points a game, along with about 8 rebounds and 6 assists, and he was pretty efficient. He wasn't really efficient from 3, but shot 3 throws pretty well. Did he make an all NBA team? He made the all NBA second team. That's actually crazy for a rookie. Wow, um, but other than him, we were pretty bad, going 12 and 70, which obviously was not good enough to make the playoffs, and I expect a Warriors and Raptors final. For the first time in history, the Warriors don't make the finals. It's the Los Angeles Lakers, but the Raptors still win it as Kawhi ends up beating his new team. In the draft lottery, we have projected picks 1, 3, and 5, so we're probably going to get 2, 4, and 6. We end up with 1, 4, and 5, so the draft lottery does not help us, but it could have been a lot worse. The draft has now concluded. We got some really interesting trade offers, including players like Victor Oladipo, Devin Booker, but I'm thinking that we need cap space for free agency to get two max players, and we can trade for a Victor Oladipo or a Devin Booker later, but now isn't a good time to do that. So we just took the best player available, and they were R.J. Barrett, 
Romeo Langford, Nasir Little, and Chris Wilkes. All of them are wings, which we don't need a wing. We have Doncic and Brandon Ingram. So we're going to trade at least three of these guys, maybe all four of them. And one of these lucky fellas will stay on the team. At likely. the end of the first day of free agency, Jimmy Butler and Clay Thompson both accept... I would like to bring both of them in because they're one of them's gonna have good trade value and one of them's a good player. I think we need about roughly eighteen million dollars to clear up first, which I think that is very. R.J. Barrett and Brandon Ingram have the two highest salaries on our team, so we're gonna be sending them to Chicago for Lowry Markkinen and Wendell Carter. They are both cheaper value-wise. This is not a great trade, but Bulls are getting better value. But we're clearing up cap space and we're getting two young talented players. We have players. agreed to a trade with the Kings. It is a pretty terrible trade value-wise, but obviously I'm trying to clear up cap space. We traded them Romeo Langford and Wendell Carter for two first-round picks and a second-round pick. Those first-rounders should have some nice value, so it's not an awful trade, but we just handed them two young players who could be That really is good. enough money to bring Jimmy Butler and Klay Thompson onto the team, so now we have both of them. And DeMarcus Cousins is going back to the Kings. That makes literally no sense. But we have agreed to a big trade with the Philadelphia 76ers, sending away Jimmy Butler, Svyatoslav Mikhailuk, OJ Hawks, Chris Wilkes, and three future first-round picks for Joel Embiid. We need a center, and we're getting a very Obviously, good I did choose Clay over Jimmy Butler because A, I get Jimmy more, and B, Clay is better at small forward. I did give Jimmy Butler a no trade clause, but I took it off because I think that is somewhat realistic. We all know Jimmy Butler does not like young teams, and this is a pretty young We've team. We've made a deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers trading all of our picks away because I don't feel like I need them for Colin Sexton, which means I have to choose between who's going to start between Dennis Smith and Colin Sexton, which is a pretty tough choice. Probably going to choose Dennis Smith, but I would assume they're going to get similar. We traded money. our three worst players who aren't going to get playing time to the Cavs, for Seti Osman. He should be a good shooting guard off the The game kind of wants me to start Colin Sexton over Dennis Smith, but Dennis Smith is a little bit better, and he is an original Dallas Maverick. So Dennis Smith will remain the starter at point guard. Luka Doncic, obviously at shooting guard. Clay Thompson, Larry Markin, and, and Joel Embiid. Off the bench, Colin Sexton, Nasir Little, Seti Osman, and Jakob Pertl. Uh, during season one, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at the beginning of the season, we traded Jalen Brunson and some scrub to the Spurs for Jakob Pertl. We put him in the G League last year, and now this year he's going to come off our bench, and we're hopefully going to win a race. a week left in the season, we were the five seed, and we end up missing the playoffs 39-43. and I don't know how we did that bad. Sucks we don't have our pick, but it's probably going to be late lottery anyway, and we're probably going to see a Warriors and Raptors final as the uh, Lakers are struggling here in the first round. They lose to the Phoenix Suns. The Kings, Grizzlies, Nets, Hawks, Cavs all make the playoffs. How weird. And Suns, I didn't even mention them. Uh, but I do think the Cavs will make the playoffs in real life this year. I think the Cavs are going to surprise some people. I think Kevin Love, he gets to be the star of the team again, as the Nets make the conference final somehow. Uh, Kevin Love gets to be the star of a team again. Colin Sexton, I think, is going to have a Donovan Mitchell-like season. And speaking of Donovan Mitchell, the Utah Jazz win the finals and Greg Monroe wins finals MVP. What has turned... What? So, the Jazz winning the finals is one thing, but Greg Monroe winning finals MVP... Am I alive right now? Is this a dream? I looked up the trade finder for Nasir Little just out of curiosity, and I see this trade offer from the Brooklyn Nets, and I think I have to take it. Little and a future first-round pick for the number three overall pick, as well as Rondé Hollis Jefferson. So, uh, obviously, Nasir Little is five years younger, and he's a lot more upside than Rondé Hollis Jefferson, but RHJ is not that much worse. Plus, we're going to get one of the best rookies in the league, and that's the, that's the Thunder who accept that trade, so... I guess they now have Rondé Hollis Jefferson, and I guess the Thunder were really bad this year for With some the third overall pick, we took Khalil Whitney from Kentucky. Probably going to trade him because I don't really need him, but maybe we'll hold on. We have agreed to a deal with the Toronto Raptors as Jakob Pertl did leave us in free agency, so we need a new backup big man. I tried to get, like, Jared Allen, a few players like that. It didn't work. So we are sending RHJ in a second-round pick. For the reigning finals MVP, the man himself, Greg Monroe. I don't know why the Jazz 
gave up on him after he won Finals MVP, but it is. I traded for a backup point guard. I traded like Terrence Ross for Devontae Graham, go Jayhawks, uh, with the intent that he was going to play, but it doesn't look like he needs to play. So Dennis Smith will be the starting point guard. Then Luka Doncic, Clay Thompson, Larry Marketing, and Joel Embiid. So the same starting five. Colin Sexton still the sixth man, uh, but we have added Greg Monroe as well as Khalil Whitney. Still have Seti Osman. And we don't really need to use our lovely backup point guard here, so sorry, Devontae. Season number three is in the books, and we are the seven seed somehow. I don't get that. At least we made the playoffs this year, but I don't know how we're this bad. We have a really good team, and we win game three against the Rockets, but that looks like it might be it. And we lose in five, so this is, this is shaping up to be pretty ugly. It's, look, it's for Brooklyn Nets again! The only player I know they have is Zion Williamson. He's been doing really good for them, and that's it. But I don't think Zion Williamson can carry a Brooklyn Nets team to the conference finals. And it looks like they might even make the NBA finals. Come on, Nets. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Nets. And, yeah, the Nets made the finals before they get absolutely whooped. Wait, no, they're not getting whooped. But they still lost. The lineup is exactly the same as it was last year, which probably isn't for the better since we didn't win a ring last year. Uh, the, t the game signed Seth Curry, so he's back on the Dallas Mavericks, but who really cares? So hopefully we can win the championship this year, but I somewhat doubt it. Another season has gone by, and another disappointing record. We have a four seed, 47 and 35, which I don't know how we were that bad. We have such a good team. On a side note, Trey Young is like a 90 overall, one sixth man of the year, and I was thinking, how the heck is he coming off the bench? But the Hawks signed Lonzo Ball, which is very strange. So they have Trey Young and Lonzo Ball, as we almost blew a 3 1 lead to the Kings. Now we have LeBron and the Lakers. I am not very confident. They don't have Lonzo, though, but um, we're struggling. Come on, we win game five. Okay, that, that sucks. Alright, one more year. If we don't win the ship, I'm going to be a sad, sad boy. And on a side note, Lonzo Ball and the Atlanta Hawks win finals as Lonzo wins finals MVP, but he doesn't put up 10 in any statistic except for minutes per game, which is kind of sad. We don't have enough hard cap to re-sign Colin Sexton, and honestly, with him, we could only make it to the second round of the playoffs, so without him, we're not going to be much better. So I'm just going to end the video here. We probably weren't going to win the championship next year anyway. Here's a final look at the roster. It was a very good roster, but 2K Sim was just being really annoying. So make sure to like, subscribe, and vote for the next team we rebuild in the comments section below. And uh, usually we do end up winning the championship in these rebuilds. It's just that 2K was hating today, so hopefully they won't be hating next time. Hey, hey, man!